Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Soda Review Podcast. I am your host, Julian, and these mosquitoes are eating me alive. On today's episode, we will be sampling a soda from the Sunshine Bottle Works, uh, which is uh, apparently located in the central coast of California. It says here that it is all natural. I believe it is pronounced Spezi, S. P-E-Z-I, and it is the orange and cola blend. And again, here it says, crafted in California with real cane sugar. Um, it's got sort of a, um, a throwback fountain soda style blue label with a couple of fizzy bubbles on it uh, and some vertical striped orange um, lines at the top. Uh, and we also have the, uh, uh, it's sort of a, a badge, I guess you will, for the uh, Sunshine um, Bottle Works. With a further examination, uh, Sunshine Bottle Works is coming out of San Luis. Oh gosh, why do they make these so small? San Luis Obispo, California. And uh, boy, I tell you, the print on here. It's uh, it's not as microscopic as the Fizz 1922 ginger ale, but um, boy, it is it is going to be uh, a squinter for sure. So uh, on the ingredients list, we have sparkling filtered water, pure cane sugar, natural flavors, caramel color, which is also from sugar, phosphoric acid, gum arabic, caffeine, citric acid triethyl citrate, oh god, xanthan gum, and sodium benzoate, uh, which of course is to, uh, according to this, ensure freshness. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my trusty pop the top bottle opener and we're going to crack into this bad boy. Ah, uh, yes. You know, it's a real satisfying popping, popping tops with uh, Tazaz pop the top. And, and I am in no way sponsored by this company. I want to say up front, but, uh, boy, they really created a nice little product here that uh, makes it a little bit more fun to enjoy these sodas. Um, I, of course, uh, was treated with a little bit of the fizzy mist that, uh, you know, I find rather enjoyable. Kind of helps, uh, uh, again, increase the uh, fun factor of delving into these uh, craft bottled sodas. So uh, without uh, any more uh, meandering or uh, do si -do, uh, we're going to give this a whirl. So, uh, Spezi, orange and cola blend, bottoms up. Yeah. You know, that that's a, a pretty smooth um, cola. It's definitely more cola than orange, uh, which probably works in its favor in this instance. Uh, but again, uh, much like uh, the Spring Grove orange that I had tried a few episodes back, um, this again is a very soft orange flavor, more akin to the orange that you would find um, in a dreamsicle. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, when I'm, when I'm drinking just an orange soda, um, that's not necessarily the jib that I like the cut of. But in an instance like this where we're blending orange and cola flavors, um, I think it's probably best that it's a more soft, uh, muted orange, uh, especially considering uh, the cola in this instance um, seems to be closer to the RC side of the cola spectrum than something like a, a Pepsi, which can have a little bit more fizz bang for the buck. It's an enjoyable soda. It's not really wowing me, but it's not really turning me off either. Uh, when it's in my hands, as it is now, um, sure, I'll drink it. You know, I'll reach for it. In fact, I won't even have to because I already have it in my grasp. Um, but uh, so let's go for uh, one more slug, uh, and then I think we're going to settle up. Yeah, so... The uh, Spezi Orange and Cola Blend, it's, it's a fine drink. Um, I don't think it's going to win any awards uh, in my book, but it's definitely not something that I would uh, ever shy away from 
given the opportunity. I don't know if you can hear my cat. She is going a little um, nutso on me. Uh, so I guess uh, that's a good enough reason to bring this one to a close. I'd like to thank you all for joining me on yet another episode of the Soda Review Podcast. I've been your host, Julian, signing off.